yo, what it do, what it don't, what it is, what it is, and you already know what this is. This is once we're not saying magazine dedicated to shit that I'm into Zian. This is your host P5, aka P equals MC Squared, and this is another episode of Nice Bit of Kit that you already know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go around the camera, come back in short, and we're gonna do it like we're doing it for TV. Let's do it. Guys, what is this stuff I'm doing? Alright, beautiful people. It's a bit chilly, a bit nippy. Let me give you the little twirl, RJ. I'll give you a little twirl to the RJ. You see how we do. Let me give you a little close-up shit. You know what I mean? You see the coloration right there. Let me give you a bit of coverage. All right, let's do. All right, guys. Today we have this CP Company workman jacket. Ideas from Massimo Osti, and it is a 1995 piece. All right, guys. Let's look at the coverages. As you can see, you've got these nine. <laughs> nice. You've got these nice wide um, coffages right there. As you can see, you can fit your whole leg and a couple arms in there. Wide coffages, um, very reminiscent of your favorite kung fu master. You know, your your sensei. You know, hands like that, thinking, why are you not good enough, Padawan? Um, that's Jedi's but anyway guys as you can see nice and wide as you can see quite short in the armage right there um, but that's fine you know it's a little um, sort of like carpenter kind of style jacket would you say a workman's jacket very nice of course you have this big you know Apulet, is it Apulet? You know what I'm talking about with the brown, beautiful brown button, um, really nice. And of course, equilibrium set and beautiful thing. You've got the thing on the other side, right, like that. Let me step back, guys, so you can see the jacket in its entirety. I'm gonna button up just so we can see what I've won. You know what I'm saying? Give me two seconds while I do the button thing. Okay, guys, so as you can see, it's in this beautiful color. This color is resplendently. What do I want to call it? Like an olive, a faded olive. It's very, very nice color. Let me give you that little close up as you can see you know what I mean goes right to the base of the neck there you see it's got that sort of like I said that old school um, workman's jacket kind of thing button right there un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq that's five buttons of course you've got the pockets right there that envelope pocket with the same color button equilibrium say it beautiful thing say it beautiful thing okay let's lift this up beautiful beautiful buttons I'm going to put my hands in once again you can only put a few coins in here you're not going to put your um your bars of gold or your speed bow you're not going to um, put the kids in here and say let's go on a jolly little jaunt you're not you're just going to put your coins of gold in there and that's all it can handle very very nice do you know what i mean look at the color on that that old school fading is just looking beautiful 1995 is this piece remember guys so the fade looks beautiful the colors super dope um really nice as you can see you've got that color right there very nice and you've got the camel in at the back um, um left hand side right hand side guys you've got these two wide pockets um quite deep as well you could definitely put some skis in this one you could put um, a little morris minor in the other one um if you're going up to the alps a morris minor and skis works perfectly well if you're staying in london you might want to put i don't know you might want to put your favorite restaurant in here I don't know, maybe it's gone a bit bigger, I don't know. Maybe put your favorite restaurant in here and your holiday home in here. I don't know how big these pockets are, but magic is magic and pockets are pockets. Who knows? Anyway, these pocket um, lids, these are nice sort of little rectangular envelope lids. Very nice, super nice. Let me give you a little look on the inside of the jacket so you can see what we're doing here. Un momento, por favor. guys the sun is actually coming out I can do a, a lot more of this it's dope let me show you that there you go look at that CP company made in Italy and then if I give you a little bit closer up there you'll be able to see that 1995 on the metal burnished in steel this time it really is burnished in steel I love this little chain thing here you know that old school jointage right there made in Italy do you know what I mean super super nice um, course you got your CP company right there and you see the man is in blue super nice um, and of course you see made in Italy literature right there this is a really dope priest guys I got this off um, Brian transplant 73 I think let me double check that but um, he's doing a whole bunch of sort of vintage CP vintage Armani he's got some really dope stuff man I, cop I copped a couple pieces off him and yeah 
trust me guys um, his prices are beautiful and um, he seems like a really cool dude check him out like he's showing you history as well as selling stuff but yeah check it out anyway guys it's been another episode of nice bit of kit that I've been your host P5 AKC P company and guys you already know what this is this being once we're not saying magazine dedicated to shit that I'm into Zia and guys stay dope stay fly let me know your thoughts put your comments down below and yeah hit me up I'm gonna see you on the flip side peace gang <laughs>